Thinking of the way that Pro Tools manages files, remember that audio files are not embedded into the Pro Tools session or your PTX file. They live in your audio files folder. So we need to have this in mind when we are importing files into Pro Tools. We need to make sure that they get copied into the audio files folder. So there's a couple ways to import audio. You can go to the file pull down menu, import audio. Sometimes there's a strange Mac bug where you can't see the files that you're trying to import in. So just automatically make your window bigger. So this looks slightly different on a PC, but on both systems, you're going to have either add or in this bottom one, it either says copy or convert. So you always want to do this bottom one. You never want to add here. So in this case, it's suggesting to add, but what it's going to do, it's going to leave it where it is. So it might be in my downloads folder. It might be on my desktop. It might be on a server somewhere and it will not put it into my audio files folder. So I always want to copy or convert. If it says copy down here, then it's already the right file type, bit depth, and sample rate, but it will take it from its original location and then copy it into my audio files folder. If it is not the right bit depth and sample rate, it's going to tell me to convert it. It's going to it's gonna have to do this. It will convert it to the right parameters, and then it's going to put it into my audio files folder. So can you drag and drop from your finder? The answer is yes. But are you adding, are you copying, or converting? In other words, is it landing in your audio files folder? The answer is maybe, and it depends. So if it is not the correct file type, bit depth, and sample rate, it has to convert it to work inside of Pro Tools. So in that case, yes, it is. It does have to copy it in because it has to convert it. If it is the right file type, bit depth, and sample rate, then Pro Tools is going to add it which means it assumes that you want to leave it on your desktop or your downloads folder or wherever. So are you confused? There is a fail safe if you do want to drag and drop and you can find this in the Pro Tools preferences. So you go to the setup pull down menu, go to preferences, and then you want to go to the processing tab up at the top here, and then make sure that automatically copy files on import is checked and convert copied files to session format is also checked. Then click OK. So to sum up, remember that all audio files need to land in your audio files folder. In the import audio dialog, never add, always copy or convert. And if you want to drag and drop, make sure that automatically copy files on import and convert copy files to session format is checked in your preferences.